We can no longer tinker, that's my term, with our uh, tax system in Barbados. We really need to take a hard look at it and ask ourselves where have we gone wrong, what are the things we need to do, what are the structural deficiencies in our system. And we need to move away in principle from this thing of a Minister of Finance, you know, having everybody got pressure in the air and, and, and can't, you know, can't think straight when you come in the farm with a black box or whatever bag you use now. And you wonder what's going to come out of that box. Is it going to be goodies or baddies, whatever? The truth of the matter is that there are some structural deficiencies in the economy that we really need to address in the right front of that. And the MF, you know, was asked to look at our tax system in particular is one aspect of it. And they made some recommendation. I think what has been missing the last couple of days uh, from this discussion is that the government has not accepted the MF recommendations, can't lie. We have not even sat down and discussed them any great deal except cabinet level. What the Minister of Finance rightfully did to the support of cabinet was to put together a team, I believe it's led by former peers, Mr. Lane, includes the partner KPMG and someone from the back department, some technocrats, accountants drawn from your profession, and uh, economists to look at the IMF proposals and make some, do some analysis and make some further recommendations. And I say that they presented recently to cabinet. Now we have not accepted yet. We have we're still as ministers to the right over. But I think we have to accept in principle that the government is doing the right thing, which is taking a strong and firm look at the tax system today and then start to identify some, some um, solutions going forward. And I really hope come out of this day we can get things going. But let me say that. And some of us, because I'm, I'm still a member of the public and I believe I pay a lot of taxes, too much taxes, but <laughs> um, you know, I, I come from that side of public finance and the student of public finance and the public. I say, look, I'd rather have people get a higher disposable income and spend money in public and circulate than to take it out of your pocket and put it in a woefully inefficient public service or public sector. <laughs> There have to be a leveling somewhat. There are a couple of things I think we need to address the IMF program. I'm going to wrap up now, David, because I may like, maybe going on a little bit, but God forbid, the worst thing to do is a politician the microphone to really <laughs> uh, but, but we need to have a little more equity in the system. The state has to address, uh, from a philosophical perspective, um, the range of services that the state ought to provide. And to whom? We can no longer give everything to everybody regardless of the socioeconomic circumstances. And that, to my mind, also has to address as you look at the tax system, because it's going to inform the level of taxation in the country. We have to ensure the most vulnerable groups in society are protected. But the mistake we made is that we've never clearly defined the vulnerable group. Sometimes you can see who gets the politician first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you and your colleagues have been in government long enough to be able to give us a sense of how <coughs> difficult it is to bring about structural change in Barbados today. All these recommendations are pointing us in the direction of structural change. But the truth of the matter is, Minister, that there are a lot of people in this country who do not have the confidence in the government to bring about that structural change because of all that we have seen in recent times. And as a Minister of Government at the policy-making level, share with us what is the challenge there. And first, we have to identify what are the structural deficiencies uh, in, in, in the system, even before we start to tackle them um, somewhat. There, there, there are a couple of issues that we, we've had to address, such as the size of the public service. And that was one of the most agonizing of our needs to deal with, but we had to do it. Because at the end of the day, we have to remember, as politicians or whatever, that you, you look at the numbers, etc., the but there's still the human side of whatever decisions we take. What are some of the structural deficiencies that we have in the system? Um, and, and I'm going to address this in the next couple of days as I reflect on the, that um, doing business report that really came up, came up recently. I think, as a minister, I didn't address that, but not now. Um, we, we, have, we still have, let me take for example, simple things. And this is where it really said I came here as a public and not as a minister. 
Lastly, my wife took countless hours to clear her. Um, <laughs> not that. <laughs> I'm quite very happy. Rotax for her vehicle. She made three attempts to go pay Rotax. No, no, no. Perhaps Reggie's wife could have come down and said, I read his wife, so put me right <laughs> but, but, no, but, but three attempts. And it may seem simple, David, but it really speaks to some of the fundamental challenges you have. The lack of technology in limited services provided by the state. Um, the, you know, the, 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 the issue that we grapple with in society, when you say we have to talk way really beyond the tax system, the fact that, and in, I know the lack of control of customs here, so that's the problem as well. But the fact that in public service is still not a 24 7 society. So people at 4 o'clock, a different rate kicks in for doing certain things that they could have done before 4 o'clock, quite frankly, in many instances. Uh, these, these are some of the challenges we have in, 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 in the system uh, that we really have to address. Uh, your, your issue today is about the tax system. Uh, in principle, I know perhaps I'm talking around some broad issues. But certainly in terms of the tax system, how do we find what the ball of money we need to pay? I think we need to have, we don't need to do much better at the collection of taxes in Barbados. That is one of the biggest weaknesses we have in our system today. You cannot keep adding more and more tax to a smaller and smaller portion of taxpayers. We need to do better at collecting the taxes. So all your accountants and private practice not paying a fair share. Hey. 